English breakfast tea is amazing. Now, something I've been learning with this YouTube channel, I've been told to ask you to subscribe now and to hit the bell and all of that good stuff because I've been doing it at the end of the video, which is about 13 minutes from now or 12 minutes from now, whatever it turns out to be. And people are saying, well, we're not always there at the end, so we don't get to hear you say, would you please subscribe, which is down this way. So if you're so kind and you like this video, please subscribe, pass it on to your friends, and I'd appreciate it if you would do that for me. Now, on our last video, we had a circle around here. We cut all these braces to size, and we took them down in thickness here to Two, uh, 280 thousandths of an inch. And then this piece here, the wider one, the transverse, is 400,000 by 590 tall. Now, I put a radius on here. I have always done that. But on this guitar, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna put it flat because I've decided I want this area in here. I wanna see what happens. I want it to be flat so that when the neck comes on and the fingerboard is coming across here, it's gonna fit nice and tight. That's what I'm looking for. Meanwhile, today I have some things that we need to do, but before we get there, let's spin that intro and then we'll come right back and I'll show you this up close, how we got to here and what we're gonna to do today. Our last video, when this was a complete circle, what I did is I marked a center line right down here where the join. Now, when I made the top, I came to the center line and I drew a line here and I got it onto here, drew it across here, flipped this over and did the same thing. Once I had those two marks and lines, I used this ruler to run across here and make it straight. And then I put tape on either end because I don't want to mark the top. And very carefully, as you will see, I came across here and across here until I cut it. And then I took a chisel. I'm going to put this tight against here. And I've got it really good and tight. And I make a little mark down here. I make a little mark up here very gently, and I'm making a little mark here. All right, now, I have an X here. The distance from here to that X on the inside should be, let's hope it is, should be, well, it's not. It's about 19 and a half millimeters. You think I can get away with a half a millimeter? I think so. Okay, now I know this number from previous experiences and I'll explain why that is important. Now what I'm doing is the same thing we did a minute ago. I'm drawing the X on here and I'm drawing the X on there. So I now know, I now know we're both both these braces are gonna be crossing here. So that means when I finally cut them and set them up, I'm, I'm good to go to just glue them, set them in place, and they're gonna fit perfectly. So at that point, what I will do is take some sandpaper and I will erase all of this marker and then I will sand it to make it nice and smooth. So that's where we're at. Oh boy, before I go any further, let's have some of this. Now, think about this, Monty, before you jump in here a little too fast. I've got everything set. We're ready to mark the braces. All right. Now, there's the curvature. This is the left brace and I'm going to put that 
I want this to exceed the top here, not by a whole lot, but just by a little bit up in here, because it's going to, when we put the top on the frame of the guitar, I want it to extend because that's going to help us get this thing lined up perfectly. So I know where that is. I know where this line is. I don't worry too much about the bottom of this. I'm going to get very close, but I also have a little flat file which I can run in there and that flat file will pull this out. As you can see, these are these should just snap right out. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, come on, I want you to fit in here. That's going down over top, and this is the top right. This is coming down over top, so we're going to cut this next one from the top. And it looks like it's got to go quite a bit. There's the joint. It's good and tight. It's not too tight, but it's good and snug. So that's the left side. pieces out of the way. We don't want those interfering in any way. That, in a word, is perfect. All supported in here, all reinforced, looks grand. This will go down nicely. Well, that's it for me today, but before I go, let me just review that this thing fit perfectly, absolutely perfectly, but it worked extremely well. We're uh, looking good. So thank you very much for joining me and please consider subscribing and passing this on to your friends. I, the more the merrier and by all means, please read in the uh, community section, what I've been writing there, the last uh, blurb that I put up earlier was on Black Friday and credit card fraud and all the scams that are going on with your cell phone and so on and so forth. So I've become concerned about that for friends and I really would like you to be protected. So having said that, thank you again. This is it, English breakfast tea as you know. Oh man, and, and it, <laughs> I really needed this today. The reason I needed this so badly today, I had the snow tires put on the car today. Oh dear, there's that word, snow. Tires are not a bad thing, but snow tires? Oh, I am totally living in the wrong place. See you in the next video.
goodbye for now. <laughs> All right, you behave yourself. Not you, you. <laughs> <laughs>